another trip, another unboxing video. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Tori, this is Nova Life, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another unboxing video, and you may be thinking, Tori, didn't you just do an unboxing like two weeks ago? Yes. Yes, I did. But I'm my Peach Alani. I'm here to do another unboxing because I went to Steamy Lit this past weekend, which means I went all the way to California, hung out at Disney, hung out at Universal. I have a whole recap of my trip over on my Patreon if you want to go watch it. There's a seven day free trial. You can join and watch it over there. But basically, I left for four days. I was gone for four days, five days, five days technically we travel. And I came back to all these packages. Now, I am very excited to open these because some of these I knew were coming. Some of these I did not know were coming. Some of these are very, 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 very exciting. I also will have a book haul at the end of the video too of all the books that I got at Steamy Lit. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now the first one, I technically already unboxed on my TikTok but right before I left and that is my Fairy Loot editions of the Twisted series by Anna Huang. Now, I, like I said, I did this over on my TikTok, so you may have already saw that, but I wanted to mention them really quickly because they are gorgeous together. Oh, see how pretty they are? I actually took one of these with me to Steamy Lit to get signed because these are unsigned, but Twisted Love, beautiful artwork, and then each of the covers, the hardbacks, have a design like that. So I'm not going to show you every single one, but I'll show you the art for each one. Sunflower, which is really pretty. Twisted Games, which is my favorite, and this is the one that I had signed and personalized to me. I have Twisted Hate, which I love the pink, and Twisted Lies. Oh, I forgot to show the flower. That's the flower for lies. That's the flower for hate, and they always have a quote on the back. Um, and this is game. So I love it. I'm very, very, very excited to have these in my collection. I ordered these back in... February, I think. February, I think. Yeah, it's been a while. Anyway, okay. Now we have my Afterlight. This came right before I left, and I never opened it. It came the day that I left. Um, but, ooh, okay. It says, my type on paper. Hot Summer by L. Everhart. Cute. Okay. Open the book. book I didn't know that it comes with some art prints or one art print oh this is pretty okay this is the art print I always keep these and so it's a hot summer like I said so this is the cover very pretty I love the sunset with the clouds and the art is inside oh my gosh they always do such a good job Okay, that's really cool. Oop. That's really cool. Sometimes the end pages have different artwork. It does. Oh my god, that's so cute. I really want to read this. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love the Afterlight stuff. They always do such a good job with that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, the next one is from Hello Lovely. And I'm going to open it upside down because my address is on the front. So I have my handy dandy scissors. Um, but this is a very exciting, very exciting unboxing. I always get trope of the month from them because I love it. I'm also a rep for them. But they decided to do hardbacks from now on. So you can join the wait list over on their website. But they have decided to start doing hardbacks and this is the first hardback design that they have oh my gosh oh my gosh I'm so excited hold on they have a lot of crinkle paper okay okay so it's homewrecker by Sarah Kate uh, let me see if I can open this so this has a foiling on the cover it has uh, special end pages custom formatting and it has um, spray edges. So like I said, this is the first time that Hello Lovely is doing hardbacks like this. Always their trip of the month have been paperbacks, but they decided to change it up and do hardbacks from, for now, from now on. Okay. Okay. This is actually really nice. Okay. So it's a naked hardback. It has home wrecker. 
Sarah Kate, so this is foiled. It says you might be married to him, but you belong to me. It has really pretty sprayed edges. And the end pages. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, it's like a watercolor. Ooh, it's really bright. So it's a watercolor. These are hand signed. So this is hand signed by Sarah Kate. So it is like custom formatting. Ooh. Very pretty. And it does come with a ribbon that is green, I think. Yeah, it's a green ribbon that's in here. So that is Hello Lovely's new um, hardbacks. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You can join the waitlist to get um, these, but they will be doing more hardbacks. I'm so freaking excited. Okay, so I got this PR package from QB Tyler. Our little secret from QB Tyler um, and Good Girls PR. So thank you to them for sending this to me. They have a bunch of goodies in here. So it is the book, Our Little Secret, that is signed by QB herself. And then they have some, ooh, trip cards. Trip cards. So they have Billionaire, what are those? Age Gap Romance. <laughs> Try to read them backwards. The rooftop scene, because that's a scene in this book. Uh, the taxi scene, that's also a scene in this book, because I read this already. And sexy FaceTimes. And then we're back to billionaires. That's so cool. Comes with some tabs, some NSFW, and some stickers, and a little sample ca candle from Stellico. And I do love this. It smells like, um, uh, like very clean. Like, not like clean linen, but like clean manly, which I do love, so... Thank you to them for sending me that. Now this one I am so excited for. It is book mail from Rebecca Chin Shack. So when you open this up, so I'm very excited for this because I work for Rebecca, obviously. I've said that multiple times. Ooh. I've said that multiple times I do work for Rebecca and I knew I helped actually with this box. So I get so excited when people start getting these boxes and they start opening them and I see them and I'm like, oh my God. Oh, so inside the box is another box, the playbook box. Throw that one, so this is the box. Whoa, oh, that was scary. Okay, playbook with all the letters and then you open it. Oh my gosh. That's so pretty. Okay, so there's a letter to Tori. See, Tori it says thank you, thank you. Oh, so it has a little personalized message. And then there's a pink tissue paper. And then they have, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to show you. This. So this is the t-shirt. So it's the Arizona Mavericks t-shirt which is the football team of the hero because he's a pro football player. It has Brogan Six, which is his name. So it has six. This is designed by Novel Grounds. They did the burnout t-shirts as well. So yeah, I love this design. When she showed me this, I was like, stop it right now. This is gorgeous. So it comes with a Rebecca Jinchak sticker, a foiled sticker. And it comes with some trope cards, which I really love Lila Junko and their trope cards. So it's so pretty they have like an ombre glitter so fake dating grumpy sunshine uh what is this oh pen pals and brogan six which is a professional football player that's his thing oh my gosh those are so pretty and then it comes with a little postcard so she's on the front and you can send it to someone on the back so you can mail it out to someone it comes with this notepad which i always use this type of notepad i will put that on my desk and then it comes with the book. Oh, hang on. It comes with two stickers. It comes with, um, it comes with her and him. Oh, look at them together. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay. And then the back. This is the foiled paperback. Oh my God. And the formatting on the inside is so pretty. So it's like hers with letters and a stadium. And then his is. A football with the stadium and these are signed and I'm pretty sure there's an overlay in here somewhere where am I, I gotta find it oh and that's the overlay oh my gosh it's so pretty I love it so much it turned out so well anyway if you haven't read playbook I need everyone to go read it it is awesome and amazing 
and I love it so much. And this t-shirt I will be wearing tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, so that's that. And then I just have two mailers left. Um, this is from Valentine PR, which I usually always, I usually don't get anything from Valentine, so I don't know what they sent me. Um, what did they send me? Oh. Okay. Oh. So this is Tijan's new book. Frisco? Is that that? Yeah, Frisco. Red Demons, California. Oh, the back is very pretty. It's like him holding her. Okay, okay. Adult Romance Contemporary Motorcycle Club. Alpha Hero, Angsty, Anti Hero, Bodyguard, Enemies to Lovers, Escaping a Killer, MC Biker, Force Proximity. They have a lot of things in here. Thank you, Valentine, so much. I actually really am interested in this cover now. So, oh my gosh, thank you so much. And this last one actually just was delivered today, right before I sat down and filmed this video, okay? This is from Rachel, from Fit Teacher Rachel. So she does special editions like herself every once in a while. Um, just to like, she reads a book and she's like, oh my God, I wanna design a cover. Uh, I'm so excited, this is my favorite book. And so when I saw that she was doing this book and she released this cover, I was like, I, I need this in my life. I'm not, oh my fucking God. <gasps> stop it right now, stop it right now, stop, 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 stop. Oh my God. <laughs> So, okay, when I saw this cover, I was like, this, this, this photo of them is them. Like, this is Lila and Nova. And there's Inked and Lies. Look at this cover. <gasps> Get the fuck out. And it has property of no one, because that's what they say. And it has a step back photo of them on the bike together. Get out of here. I love this. I have like four or five editions of Inked and Lies. It's one of my favorites in this series, so... Literally, like, this is gorgeous, and it comes with two stickers. So one is Property of Nova. It's, like, I guess Lila and Nova together, and it says Property of No One. That sticker's so cute. And then it says Property of No One, which is Sunflower, because that's her thing. And then it has the Ain't and Lies. Oh, my God. Is this signed? I actually don't know if this is signed. I don't remember. Okay, no, they're not signed. That's totally fine. I don't care. I'll get Gianna to sign it at some other point in my life. But that's all the mail that I've gotten, which that was actually a lot of mail. Um, now I'm going to go through the books that I got really quickly from Steamy Lit um, because it's a lot. So I did pick up Five Brothers by Penn Douglas at the bookstore because I was going to meet Penn Douglas anyway. And I wanted to pick this up and they had it. I did read this on the plane home, like my whole, whole travel day. I left at 7.50 in the morning. I took off and I landed at like 9 p.m. Atlanta time, which I had like delays and I had a three hour layover, so I listened to this whole audiobook. You guys know me, I love Credence. If you've read Credence, you need to read this book. So I'm gonna say, all I'm gonna say, I love this. So, so glad I have that. Um, some of my friends in our swag bags, we did some, you know, moving around of books, like we traded some books around. So I actually got When the Moon Hatched, the, the, per the traditionally published edition, which I already have that one. So I gave it to Jess, and Jess gave me Sophie Jordan's Ark of A Fire in the Sky. It's Sophie Jordan's, like, fantasy with Avon, and I'm so excited because I want to read this so badly. I don't know when it comes out. September 2024, so I'll be getting to this one in a couple of months. Now, I read Nalini Singh, okay? I've read a lot of, I read the first six or seven books in the Angel's Blood series, but I never physically owned any books. And they had this last book at the bookstore. This is the last mass market they had of Angel's Blood, which is the first in a series. And so I got Nalini to sign it. Um, then I went over to Tor Bookstore, because Tor was having like a little booth. And I got this Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst, which I've heard that this is like number seven on the USA Today bestsellers, I think. Um, it's just a, co a cozy cottage core. That's all I heard, um, and that's all I wanted. And it has a little kitty right here with wings. Oh my god, I was sold. Anyway, so when you bought a book, it was 15% off of the original price, and you got to spend a wheel, and you could get like 50% off a book, or you can get a free arc. And I got The Nightmare Before Christmas, so it's Nightmare Before Christmas, like themed, um, MM Romance by Sarah Rash. Very excited, very excited for this one. So then I also got a never, I guess this is never going to be printed again, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is Passenger Princess 
by Morgan Elizabeth, but it has, it's like the ARC edition, so it has her and him, and that's it, and I ran to her table because she had very little of them, so this comes out in August, I think on Friday when you're watching this, that comes out, um, so I want to read that soon um and then i bought julie soto's new book because i was meeting her too but i haven't read this one yet but i want to i know i want this in my collection so i got that then i went to cleo evans table and i bought a um like blind date with a book she had two for two books in one thing so i got not so kind regards by cleo evans which i think is a omega polyamorous romance and then monster pucker by cleo evans and ashley bennett it's like a novella which is really cool then I got the exclusive edition of King of Greed by Anna Wong from Eternal Embers. I wasn't going to get this, okay? Because I was like, okay, this cover is good. The, the rings on the side, the back is really pretty. But when you open up, it has art. That's a bookmark too. And the back has different art. And so I was like, sold. I need that in my life. Another book that was in the swag bag was Tied by Carrie and Cole. I have Torn, so I'm glad to have this one. Um, I've read multiple books by... Um, Carrie and Cole and I've, I've loved them and then one of my favorites Evie Mitchell she had her new book Darn It All um Darn It All because she's a fashion you know person she's trying to get into fashion she had some of these copies it's not out yet but I love Evie Mitchell this is part of the L Access series which is like disabilities and everything and in this book she has anxiety so and he has a prosthetic leg if I'm not mistaken so very excited to read this one I love Evie Mitchell so freaking much but that's all the books that I bought at Steamy Lit, and those are all the packages I got in the last, like, week. I hope this is the last unboxing for a little while. I'm not going on any trips, and I don't plan to buy a lot of books, but we shall see, right? We shall see. But thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you've made it this far and you want to let me know, leave me a sunflower emoji for the Inked and Lies book because that's one of my favorites that I've opened so gorgeous but thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe for more content for me as always i hope you're living a novel life and i will see you in my next one bye guys